I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit tired of playing around with weird physics to make my armatures have realistic wind. Here's my new add-on that allows you to add adjustable wind to your armature automatically. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the add-on, as well as some interesting tips and tricks to achieve the animations that I'm showing you right now. I myself have really been wishing for an add-on like this, and so I'm glad to finally have developed it and share it with you guys. Link will be below. Let's get into it. So after you have the add-on installed, if you make a bone chain like I'm doing here, you can then navigate over to the add-on panel. Click on the button to set up the wind scene, and then in pose mode, select your bone chain and click on the add wind to selected bones button. I'll explain why it says template 1, template 2, and template 3 in a little while. From here, you can easily change the influence of each bone, and whether you want to change only one of them or all of them together is up to you. You're the master. If you go below the influence buttons, everything below them are global properties, meaning they'll affect all of your different wind bones in the scene that share the same template that you selected. Below that is wind scale. With this one, it's really important that you click and drag down so that you change the X, Y, and Z all at once. Otherwise, you might get wonky results. So try not to affect like just the X or just the Y or just the Z. Below that is the wind speed, which you can set and then click the update button. Below that is toggle textures, which switches between a constant wind and a randomized wind. By default, it's constant, but you can change that. And also, this is something that I just added. You can change the noise depth for the random wind as well if you want to make it more jittery. Now I'll explain to you how templates work. If I create another armature and set it to a different template, each different template will have different global properties. This lets you adjust the global parameters between different armatures. As you can see, I pressed template 2 here, which is why the strength and scale and speed are, are all different from the other armature. Here I set it back to template 1, which the other armature is also using, and decreased the influence, so they look a bit similar. So here's a tree looking armature that I quickly made. Select the trunk as the first chain and then have each branch as an individual chain. What it's going to do is apply the wind to all of the branches and also the main trunk of the tree. And as a result, it's going to give us a really fluid movement and you guys will see that in a second. Adjust some parameters and now you have a smooth looking tree. Congrats. But this part I'm about to show you is really cool. In fact, I think it's one of the coolest things about this add-on. It's that you can move all the bones and animate them without having to worry much about the wind affecting it. Let me demonstrate. If you animate the first or first couple bones in the chain, you can move and animate them in whatever direction you please and the wind will just carry with it. This is a very crude example, but for this tree or plant, or I don't know whatever the hell this is, we can move and animate some bones down and the wind will still be intact. Things won't break or anything like that. You can get some really awesome effects by doing this. Here you can see me playing around with the influence. I'm only affecting the bones of the trunk of the tree so that the branches have a bit of a more wavy effect. Additionally, a cool thing is you can animate the strength. Like for example here with these two strands, I made them start at a lower strength value and then not only rotated the bones up but also increased the strength value to give it an effect like the wind is getting stronger or something. Also, if you want to use it in the animation curves, it's a bit hidden so go to the dope sheet and uncheck selected objects only and then you can see it if you already keyframed the strength. Also, if your bone isn't moving in the direction that you want, go into edit mode on your bones and use Control R to move them in the direction that you want. It'll line up with the z-axis the bones are pointing to. One of my favorite things to use this for though is hair. Within a minute, you can just animate all of it, assuming you place your bones already. If you have any awkward areas, you can just rotate or move them around and the wind will still update. Remember, you can adjust all of the parameters like the strength, so if you want the hair to blow more or less or slower or faster, it's all up to you. You can also change the direction they're going in if it's wrong. Like here I test it out by doing Control R and then typing 180 degrees to make it go in the opposite direction. It's very laggy because I'm recording, but you get the gist. It looks better when you render it. One thing about animating hair though is you want to try and keep the strands straight so that the ends of them look less stiff. Luckily this is very easy to do as you can just rotate the bones so that they're straight and then let the wind play out as normal. For example, these strands down here aren't very straight and when it animates I want it to be straight rather than curved. You could alternatively use shape to do this, which is also cool. You can also easily add overlapping action using shape keys if you want to do that. For this head that's moving, let's focus on these hair strands right here. What you want to do is set one shape key where the hair is going to move back a lot in this direction, like it's pulling back because of the head moving. Then you want to set another shape key which makes it look like the hair is following through and going in the opposite direction. And then you just repeat this over and over again. Um, when the hair is moving forward, make sure you drag it, and when it's stopping again, make sure you follow through. Decrease the shape key influence on each cycle so that it slows back to zero. This isn't perfect, but it's something I made really quickly, and it shows you the power of combining shape keys with this add-on. Anyways, I know for a fact I'll be using this a lot in my animations, and that's exactly why I decided to develop this. I always found using the more physics-based methods of animating wind and hair to be a pain and, quite frankly, not conducive to the type of animation that I make. The stuff I make is very detail-focused and involves my background as an illustrator. Thus, I needed to make something that gives me more control, and this does that since I can still move all the bones around without them affecting the wind physics in a crazy way. But anyways, I really hope you guys found this helpful. 
Link is in the description for the add-on and thank you guys so much for watching.